Honorable G. Carter. Thank you, House Chairperson. Chair, in what at face value seemed like a light-hearted exchange in the Constitutional Court hearing on the vote of no confidence matter, an advocate in presenting his argument made the statement that, and I quote, judges are human beings, and in order for them to give unpopular yet correct decisions in law, they need security. And that is why the Constitution guarantees judicial independence by providing security of tenure, so that sitting as judges, you are enabled to take decisions you would otherwise not make had you otherwise not had the protection. At this point, Chief Justice interjected and in what seemed like in a light-hearted manner said, and I quote, well, no. That presupposes that the only danger out there is being removed from your position, close quote. And then, more chillingly, the Chief Justice continued, there are more serious dangers, believe you me. The doctrine of a separation of powers in a democracy is premised on the need to ensure that the powers of a state are divided between the executive, the legislator, and the judiciary in order to prevent the abuse of power. One of the primary foundations that anchors our democratic state is the supremacy of our constitution and the rule of law, and a primary function of our judiciary is to protect both. Mr. Zuma, his executive, and the ANC is unwilling to accept that conduct that is inconsistent with the constitution is invalid, and that the obligation imposed by the constitution must be fulfilled. The blatant disregard for a non-implementation of orders of the court and the slurs against the judiciary by the executive are simply not responsible or acceptable in a constitutional democracy. The executive have a constitutional obligation to assist and protect and ensure the dignity of the courts, not attack it. Utterances and threats against the judiciary, unwarranted statements of judicial overreach and claims of judicial interference, in the powers and functions of the executive and the legislature, the stirring up of public sentiment against the judiciary by the ANC, as we've witnessed in the ANC march to the High Court in Durban this week, attacks the very foundation upon which our democracy has been built. It's not the judiciary at fault. The crisis that we currently face in South Africa as a whole and that threatens our very democracy and the future of generations to come relates to the gross abuse of power by the president and his executive, conduct by both the executive and the legislature that is inconsistent with the constitution and obligations imposed by the constitution on the executive and legislature that are not being fulfilled, not the judiciary. To date, we still don't know who was the wine behind the worrying break-in and theft of computers from the Office of the Chief Justice. But what is clear is that the judiciary faces intimidation. They are being threatened and to face dangers. Coates stands in solidarity with the Office of the Chief Justice when it recently stated that the judiciary, and I quote, will continue to be fearless in the, its approach to promote the rule of law and safeguard its independence. We need to protect our judiciary from a rogue and abusive executive, a non-compliant legislature, and a captured, corrupted ANC Honourable Member, round up. on to powers at all costs. Cope fully supports this vote. I thank you.